Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Boyle with TV Insider. We are here with Bellamy Young, the star of A Walton's Thanksgiving on The CW. John Boy! You are my oldest. I need you to get your head out of the clouds and start taking more responsibility. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. We are going to play a little holiday hot takes game with Bellamy here in honor of the holiday season. So, Die Hard, <laughs> is it a holiday movie or not? Yes! You know, not everybody feels warm and fuzzy about the holidays, so there's something very freeing about um, some real adrenalized, still happy ending. You know, I, no spoiler if you haven't seen Die Hard, <laughs> but uh, definitely. Absolutely. And then what about Batman Returns? Is that a holiday movie or not? I, you know, Batman, I feel it has a darker edge to it. I'm going to say don't watch that on Thanksgiving or Christmas. I'm going to say give it another day of the year. Don't let the snow trick you, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just because it's seasonal doesn't mean it's holiday fair. And that's this whole game. Uh, catch me if you can, holiday movie or not. Oh, yeah, that's a romp. That's a good, especially like, it's Thanksgiving, you ate too much, maybe you're not a sports fan, but you just want to lay there for a couple hours and be amused. I think so. Yeah, we just watched that not long ago. It's a, it holds up. Absolutely. And then what about Gremlins? God, <laughs> you're like taking me back. Memory lane here, yeah. Kelly, I'm going to watch it this year for the holidays because I haven't seen it in so long. Isn't Martha Plimpton in Grem Gremlins? Is she? Or is that Goonies? Go Goonies. 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 I'm going to watch a double feature. That's what I'm going to do. Back to back. That sounds fun. And like, anything 80s goes well with celebrating. We love a good throwback. Yeah. And then Rent. Is it a holiday movie? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry on the holidays. <laughs> Rent, I always just like cry and cry and cry. Watch it the other 363 days of the year and, and just let's... Let's stay rompy and joyful on the holidays. I feel like that's the, the oh, that is everyone's reaction the second they hear Rent. <laughs> I know! Like the movie title Listen. or the first like chord of Seasons of Love. It's just like, oh. Please, please yeah. don't hear me start and I'll sing the whole thing for you. I do know all the words. I know me too. Of course you do. Of course you, we're like a feeling human being. So uh, why should people watch A Walton's Thanksgiving all through the holiday season? <sighs> because love is love. You know, there's nothing like Family and togetherness. Walton's has been a part of my family my whole life. It was my grandma's favorite show, and I remember watching with her, you know, as we celebrated the Walton's 50th anniversary last year. And to be a part of the legacy of this, these stories and these characters is incredible. But also during COVID, when we were all so isolated and feeling so alone, like to go to work and work on something that was about family and togetherness and kindness and love, and then to be able to put that into the world and have everybody feel so embraced last year and and I'm so proud of the one the Thanksgiving one that we've made this year it just takes it all up another level they go to a harvest fair there's a ferris wheel there's a pie competition there's mm -hmm. a talent show there's ah uh, and there's just a lot of love all the hits yeah yeah and so you had the Walton's homecoming Christmas movie last year yeah. as you just said Walton's Thanksgiving this year mm -hmm. how did making this new one compare to the first Oh, well, it was wonderful to get back together. We already felt like a family. Mm -hmm. We did have an adjustment in the family, and my husband is now played by Teddy Sears. Our sweet Ben Lawson mm -hmm. was unavailable, but uh, it's all, you know, apples and oranges of greatness. Uh, but it was just wonderful to all be back together to tell a new story. And this uh, episode of the, um, we meet a new person, mm -hmm. and how we meet him, and the change he brings to the Walton's family, well, it's like the Grinch at the end of his story. His heart just grows like three times bigger. So mm -hmm. this new version of the Walton's feature is a major change to the family structure. It does, it does, uh, it does. Why do you think that change is compelling? <sighs> Let me see what I can say without saying too much. No spoilers. Um, <laughs> I think what's incredible is um, there's always room for more love, you know? It's the Depression, it's 1934, they're doing the best they can. They've got a bunch of kids anyway, big family, and they're deep in their community, stretched as thin as they could be. And yet, you always can love a little more. You always have a little more to give. You always have something else to be grateful for. And it always surprises you. 
Yeah. And what do you think it is about the Waltons that is so lasting? The story, this family has been around for so long now. Well, I, you know, they were the first multi-generational family on television. Mm -hmm. So I think um, they weren't aspirational in any like specific way that was unattainable. We really felt like we saw ourselves in them. You know, we were talking to grandpa and then like trying to get the little ones to bed and, and it just felt like home. And people were being kind to each other and taking care of each other and just doing the best they could in the moment. And I, I think that just endures, you know, we're still trying, we're still doing our best now more than ever, honestly. So I think that that, that truth um, still touches people. And you're known for playing characters with some major bite to them. <laughs> uh, Olivia Walton <laughs> seems like the total opposite of Melly Grant, but sure, yeah. do you see any similarities between them? Uh, Callie, I think they're both uh, like fiercely devoted to their families, just in polar opposite ways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, like uh, Melly will, you know, yeah, wreck your house and burn it to the ground. She'll do some to things. Save her yeah, family. Yeah. <laughs> and Olivia will just love you so much that you grow into the person that you knew you could always be. Yeah. So, um, so two sides of the same devoted coin. I also love that her name is Olivia. I think that's a fun connection. <laughs> Believe me, like that was the first thing I thought of. I mean, yeah. and I did. I grew up with all of it, and there's big shoes to step in. Ma Walton was played by some amazing human beings. Mm -hmm. um, but that is the first thing I thought of was Olivia. Yeah, I mean, it's a natural thing, you know, a natural <laughs> connection. And then last question. Yeah. What is stronger, mm. Daddy's Hooch or Baldwin Moonshine? <laughs> <laughs> you know it's all the same thing. It's just hunter proof, just like branch water. You know, it's, that's something that endures. You want to talk about holiday traditions? Let's talk about Hooch and Moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So. Everyone be sure to tune in to A Walton's Thanksgiving, yeah. premiering Sunday, November 20th at 8, 7 central on The CW.